hey guys it is Christy I'm coming back with another video on my thyroid goiter journey I finally had to make the decision to get the surgery so I'm having a left lobectomy which means they're taking out the left side of my thyroid because it the goiter is 5.3 centimeters and it's pressing up against my windpipe um, you can probably kind of see it here kind of hard to see on the video but um, I waited three years after learning that it was there to have it removed and now it's gotten so big that um, I have no choice um, what else oh Every six months, three years ago, when I learned it was there, it was 4.2 centimeters. And every six months, I had to go back to the endocrinologist to have the needle aspiration and have it tested to make sure it was not cancerous, which it, it has not been. Um, doctors coming in. Hey, I'm one day post-op, and right now the pain is on a scale of 1 to 10. It's about a 7, and it hurts to cough, it hurts to swallow, and um, I just feel like crap all through my neck and my chest. It feels like I was hit by a tractor trailer truck or something, um, but I am able to get up in the restroom on my own. Um, my family is here helping me, um, helping to bring me food and keep me on schedule. I tried to record yesterday after surgery, but I was so in and out of it on the pain medication. Um, but yesterday I was extremely nauseous. Um, I am wearing a patch behind my ear that lasts for three days I had the night before surgery. Um, so that's helping a little bit with the nausea. But um, this type of surgery um, does make it afterwards. Um, the goiter that was removed out of my left thyroid measured at almost 10 centimeters. Um, but my endocrinologist measured it at 5.3 centimeters on the ultrasound. Um, so um, because of the size of the goiter that was removed... My surgeon had to cut all the way across because he did say it was the size of a tennis ball. Um, Gone. I'm glad. It was non-cancerous, so they did not have to remove the right side. The right side looks perfectly normal, no issues. I was told that <clears throat> my right side should just pick up the function. Um, and function 100%, so I shouldn't mm -hmm. patient the rest of my life. So um, I have to go back to see my surgeon in a week. Uh, he put stitches underneath. The glue is expected to kind of flake away within a week. I'm not supposed to get this um, get it damp, but I can't like shower and just like rub it. Right now I feel a lot of swelling. Um, my endocrinologist... Um, so there may be some, the swelling may be coming from the fluid that's kind of in there. So anyone who has been diagnosed with a non-cancerous benign, um, in their thyroid, just go ahead and have it removed. You don't have to worry about having to go to the doctor every six months to have the needle biopsy sure not cancerous. And the thing about it is, it is going to continue to grow. They will always continue to grow. They don't just stop growing. The sooner so. you find it, um, the sooner a doctor finds it and, um, you know, you've tried everything else, just go ahead and have it removed. Yesterday when I saw the, after surgery, when I saw how large the incision was, I just cried all day like a baby because I didn't want to. I didn't expect, I was not expecting to have a large incision my surgeon estimated the incision about an inch to an inch and a half 
Um, but obviously, when he got in there and saw how large it was, he was he wouldn't have been able to um, unless he made a larger incision. So I have a four, four and a half inch incision from here to here, um, the left side of my thyroid removed. That's how large the quarter was. But I'm so grateful and thankful that everything went well. During I'm not going to work at all this week. But, uh, and today is Monday. Yesterday was Monday. I had the surgery on Monday. So I will be working from home next week. So this week I just took all five days off, Monday through Friday. Uh, and then so recover and get well rested. And then I'll start back to work again next week. But I'll be working from home. Uh, and then I'm hoping that everything will be back to normal after that. So I'm so glad that you guys have followed my journey. Nice. Uh, that I didn't post as many videos as I thought. But um, everything progressed quickly after learning the order at my last endocrinologist visit. Um, I scheduled my surgery within three weeks after that visit and had it taken out 